For most people, turning 16 just means the ability to drive. But for young weather enthusiasts, it's a ticket to chasing storms. In this video, I'll be going over my best chases from this season. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the chases of 2022. My chase season began on March 5th. This day was a 10% significant tornado risk for central and southern Iowa. On this day, an EF4 tornado would go through the town of Winterset, Iowa, and later on in the day, two tornadoes would touch down near Cordon, Iowa. Cordon, Iowa had been my target for the last three days. Unfortunately for me, I had state swimming that day, so I was not able to catch those tornadoes. I did, however, catch this nice supercell after the tornadoes had stopped spawning. My second chase was on April 23rd. It was a slight wind and tornado driven risk. On this day, I also took my friend Caden on his first ever chase. On this chase, we were under numerous severe thunderstorm warnings. This storm was moving super fast, so we had to constantly be driving away from it. Definitely a good and memorable start for my friend Caden. My next big chase was on June 7th. I would definitely regard this day as the best of the year. I caught one of the best supercells I've ever seen and took my friend Caden along to see it too. This day started out as a marginal risk and slowly upgraded to a slight once the storm had already started. Two days before this event took place, the HRRR model had been showing a supercell. Through all 48 runs, the same supercell had been shown almost in the exact same spot. And exactly like the models ordered, a supercell grew in that exact spot. In the early stages of the storm's life, it produced a tornado near Creston, Iowa. As it got later in the night, it became more of a structure storm. And when I say structure storm, I mean the best structure I've ever seen. Hands down, the best and most fun chase I had of the season. My next chase was on June 15th. This day was in northern Missouri. I took my brother along for the ride. The first storm we encountered was a nicely rotating supercell. This storm was severe warned for wind and hail. 
The roads in Missouri are rough, but this storm was tracking after us at probably about 50 miles per hour. At least the speed limit's 60 down there instead of 55 of Iowa. In the end, this thing had up to 2 inch hail as we were just south of it. next chase was just a few days later on June 17th. This was a nighttime storm. On this day I had a position so I could grab some lightning bolts as there were some incoming storms. Little did I know a new convection would form directly on top of me. The storm that had happened to form right on top of me started dropping CG bolts that were beautiful. Every bolt I got had vivid colors and bright lights. Definitely a fun night for capturing CG bolts. My next good chase didn't come till over a month later. July 23rd. On this day, there was an enhanced risk for parts of southern Minnesota with a 5% tornado looming as well. I decided to go up and stay the night before. On this day, I was under five separate severe thunderstorm warnings and two different tornado warnings. At one point, I was almost directly inside the tornadic rotation on a storm. It's tough, but I would definitely give this number two for my rankings of best chases of the year.
My next chase occurred just before school had started on August 19th. Our school starts August 23rd, so this was only four days before school had to start. On this day, I met a fellow chaser and also caught four severe thunderstorm warnings. The 2% tornado risk never amounted to much, but definitely a fun day in close range. The final two of the highlighted chases of 2022 go hand in hand. September 17th is the first day, and the second day is September 18th. On the 17th, I took a trip west. On this day, I captured some of the greatest CG bolts I've ever taken in slow motion. I missed out on the opportunity to get the best storm of the day though, because I went north when I should not have gone north. Pretty big regret, but it turned out alright anyways. The next and final highlighted chase of 2022 is September 18th. On this day, there was a 10% significant tornado risk issued for parts of southeast Iowa. Chases from around the country flocked to this late season chase event. Even Reed Timber made his way to southeast Iowa this day. In reality, this day busted with no tornadoes reported in the 10% significant tornado area. Even though no tornadoes were reported, one supercell tried and tried again to try to produce a tornado but never could. This supercell was beautifully lit from the sunset occurring from behind. I have no doubt that if this thing actually could have produced a tornado, it would have been one of the year. Either way, this day was amazing with some great structure. And to top it all off, I got to meet my idol, Reed Timmer. After such a long season, it was crazy to meet this guy. Especially after this day had basically busted. It was a perfect way to top off the 2022 season.
totally forgot that there was another storm later in the night. This storm was a beautifully twisting supercell. It went over almost the exact same path as the earlier storm. I also caught one clean air bolt that I was able to save with Lightroom, otherwise it was completely blown out. And with that, I'd like to conclude my 2022 chase recap. This year I had a lot of ups and downs, but next year I'd like to get out there and try to fix a few of those downs I had. Already looking forward to chase season 2023. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and thank you all for your constant support throughout the entire storm season. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, and also check out my sponsors below, and multiple links to my different social medias. So for one final time, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see ya.